He walked around the premises and no one gave him a second look or offered him help. Upon entering the church, glances and scornful looks were this man's portion. He proceeded to walk to the front and an uneasiness filled the church, grabbed and pulled off as he walked up to the altar. The church elders tried pulling him off, but to no avail, he managed to get to the pulpit. A familiar voice brought the church to a standstill. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Can I ask a question? If I had come dressed in a suit, looking nice and sharp, if I had walked at the, from the back of the church like I normally do, would you have welcomed me the way you welcomed me today? I was outside of the church, sleeping at the entrance of the church. I was lying at the entrance of the church, at the entrance of the church. People were driving past, people were looking at me, people were laughing at me. After the laugh, they enter church after they look at me and if they see me as filth they look to the side they spit they enter church how many times a day do you pass and see someone like me in the streets and you ignore them if it was me wearing my suit outside, you'd have ran outside, knelt down at my feet outside, worshipped me at my feet, touched my shoes. Because it is profited. It is easy to profess fake love. I was on the ground there outside. I walked here. People were passing me by. People were as I was walking here, people were going on one side of the road because they did not want to smell me. People, when they'll see me, they'll change route and go the other way. This is someone who has come to church and in his hearts of hearts, he is saying, today I want to meet Prophet Ed. But he met Prophet Ed outside. And they looked at him and they spit at him. If Prophet Ed, if I was wearing my suit and I walked in here, the way I walked in, everyone would have knelt at the back. But I walked, no one knelt. People looking at me say, Oh, what is this madman doing here? There are lessons that we can teach you by showing you scriptures, and there are lessons that we can teach you by showing you the scripture in life. You met the prophet outside, yet he is carrying your prophecy. You met the man of God outside, yet he is carrying your deliverance. You met the man of God outside, he is carrying your breakthrough. But you did not recognize him because he was not packaged in the way you expect him. So as a result, you did not entertain him. We have met many angels in our lives that God sent to us. But they were packaged in a way we did not expect. So we turned them away. The church needs to repent. 
And when I'm saying the church needs to repent, I'm not talking about my church. I'm talking about the body of Christ. If it was me outside, you'd have come and dropped $20,000, $40,000. Help the man of God is on the ground. Help the prophet is lying on the floor. Some who sold their properties and say, let's help the man of God to rise up again. Because you are seeing the man of God on the ground, so let's help him to rise again. If you can do it for the prophet, why can you not do it for the person in the street? You don't need prophecy. You don't need deliverance. You don't need healing. You need to repent. And have love. Matthew 25 verse 34 to 45 explains it like this the king will say to those on his right come you are who are blessed by my father take your inheritance the kingdom is prepared for you since the creation of the world for I was hungry and you gave me something to eat I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you invited me in. I needed clothes, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you looked after me. I was in prison, and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in, or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you sick or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me nothing to eat. I was thirsty, and you gave me nothing to drink. I was a stranger, and you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you did not clothe me. I was sick and in prison, and you did not look after me.